Hi guys, today we will discuss about how to write a 8086 assembly language program to search a given data in RA and also we have to determine what will be the position and the address of the data in RA. So first we need a, a set of data in RA. So I am going to choose a 5 set of data. Can you array? I am going to store 5 set of data. It can be any number of data ma. So let's assign. I am going to load a 5 set of data in a array. So let it be 0 to 0 B. Can be any data. 4 C. 7 F. 43. So in a array how many set of data I am just loading? 5 set of data. Okay. So each data I need to assign a memory address. So let my memory address let it be. 1200 your first data memory address will let it be 1200 can be any address this uh, each memory location going to store a 8-bit data so your second set of data will be 1 to 0 1 third set 1 to 0 2 1 to 0 3 and 1 to 0 4 so you gave your memory address okay so this is my input data so this is my input data. So your first thing. So you have to load the address in your source index. Move. Move. SI comma 1 to double 0. Okay. Wa? So move. SI comma 1 to double 0. So you have loaded your address in your source index that is your input you have to store your input data no yeah that input data you have to store in your uh, address the, that address will be my 1200 and just you are loading to my source index next you have to store your output so i am choosing my destination index so move sa comma 1300 so your yeah, starting address for your destination will be 1300 and next you have to store uh, you have to load your count value. So, load your count value in your CX or CL register. Since I am using your 8 bit data. So, 8 bit data I can able to use only CL not CX. So, load your count value in your CL or CX. Since I am using only 8 bit I am going to use a CL. So, move CL comma. How many data I am just having? 5 data. So, 0, 5. Next. After loading your count value in your CL register, now store the search byte in your DL register. Okay, now you have to store the search byte in your DL register. I, I have a 5 set of data in your array. From this array, I am going to search one set of data. Let my data, let it be 0B. Okay, so from this array, what data I needed is 0B. So load that data, search data in your DL register. Okay, in your DL register, what is the value have been loaded? 0, B. So, what is the data you have to search from the array? 0, B. Once you stored the search byte in your DL register, next, you have to load your SA value, that is the content which is stored in your SA to your AL. Okay, so I am going to use for this a string instruction, load SB. So, there will be two set of load instruction, load SB and SW. B stands for byte. Okay. So since I am using only 8 bit, so I am going to use SB. If I am using 16 bit now, I can use load SW. So what this load SW will do, what this load SW will do now, will move the content which is stored in your source index to your AL register. Okay. The content which is stored in your source index will be moved to my AL and there will be an auto increment in your SA or DA and auto decrement in your source index and or destination index based on your direction flag. Okay, so there will be auto increment or decrement in your source index based on your direction flag. So once you give this instruction, what happens? Your pointer will be located at your 1200. Now your pointer has been located at which address? 1200. It have been located to your 1200.
okay you have been loaded so next i'm going to compare i'm going to compare the search data with your array of data okay i'm going to source compare the search data your search data you have been loaded in your dl dl comma uh, array of data your first set of array of data have been moved to my al yes so a compare your dl and your al okay wow. so compare your dl and your al that is your 0 2 now your 0 2 have been moved to my al my 0 a have been moved to my al so we will compare the dl dl line is what you have 0 b your 0 b will be compared with 0 2 so what will be the under this logic when the both the content are same okay compare now will go for subtraction compare instruction will go for subtraction so if it is go for both are equal okay subtraction if you get zero now both the values are equal then your search data have been available so this will be the logic so when you compare your dl search data with your al value when both are equal what happened your search data have been occupied so your next instruction will be jump jump on zero jump on zero since this condition will not be satisfied for this first set of data first set of data so it is not equal okay there are 0 b minus 0 2 so there is no equal to 0 no so what happened it will be go for your false condition so false condition uh, again you have to compare with your next set of data so it will go for loop loop l2 so this l2 will be jumped to the condition which is called as load instruction okay ma so now what happened in your first thing when your 0 to have been moved to your al now there will be an auto increment in your pointers so now your pointer have been moved to my 0 b so now your 0 b value will be moved to my AL. Once your value have been moved to my AL, what happened? There will be auto increment in your pointers, so syntax. Okay, your pointers have been increment. So now we will compare, we'll compare your 0B. DL, what you have? 0B and we will compare with AL. Now in your initial AL, you have 0B. So your result will be 0. So it is satisfied that your search data have been available in your set of array. Okay, so so once the for true condition satisfied, will jump to L1. So inside my L1, what will be the instruction I need to load? So move, move the content which is stored in your AL. AL to my output. My output address will be DI. So it will be stored in your destination index. It will be stored in your destination index. Okay. So this is your you got your zero bo. So that one two zero one data have been moved to your ad data of the memory address of one three double zero. So inside this one three double zero, what value you have zero b. Now what will be the second ca cases? Now you move your data now. Now you have to move the address also. What address one two zero one also you have to move to my memory location. So your next instruction will be. The next instruction will be so now you have to move this 1 to 0 1 but your pointer have been moved to your next instruction of 1 to 0 2 so this pointer should be moved back to your previous place so you have to give the instruction which is called as decrement decrement si decrement si so decrement si so once you gave your decrement si again what happened your pointers have been the pointer have been moved back to its the previous location which is called as 1 to 0 1 so now you can move those values now you can move those values that is your SA value move the SA value don't put the square bracket if you are putting square bracket the data will be moved okay wow. so I need only the address so address now you have to we, you should not put the square bracket so once you gave the sa within the square bracket now inside the memory address what will be the data that data will be moved to the destination so move the content which is stored in your si to your bx register let it store and keep it now inside your bx what data you have been stored you have been stored the data which is called as 
1202 that data you have to move to my di memory location destination index those data you have to move to my destination index because this destination index is going to store as a 88 bit since you have in bx 16 bit first move your lower order then move your higher order lower order now you have to move first 0 to then you have to move your 1 to then increment your destination index because you don't have any string instruction so there will not be any auto increment so you have to give a, a manual instruction for this now your pointer will be moved to the next memory location of 1 to 0 1 now load your data so inside my 1 to 0 1 what is the data you have to move so you have to move the lower order data so move your lower order data na bl Okay, BL you have stored your 0, 2 and BH what data you are storing? 12. So move your lower order to my to my DI. So here you have to put within your square bracket. Okay, here while you are writing your DI, you have to put your within the square bracket. So square bracket na your DI, what is your DI? 1301. Now your current DI position is 1301. Inside this memory location, you have to load the data as 0 to. So now you moved your 0 to. What you have to move? Again your higher order. So you have to allocate your next memory location which is called as 0, 1, 3, 0, 2. So increment your pointer. So increment your point, increment your destination index and move your lower order that is which is stored in BH to my destination index then stop the execution so now inside the memory location of 1302 what data you have 12 so this is a program uh, of 8086 to search a given data in an array okay. so you are searching the data in an array once you search the data move the data to the destination along with the address this is our main target to write the program so i have a set of five data of data and those data assign a address so that address will be stored in your source index to store your output give it your destination index then store your count value in cl register since i am using 8 bit then after that store your search data in your DL then you have to compare ok so before comparing use the string instruction load SB will move the content which is stored in your source index to your AL and there will be auto increment or decrement in your source point index by using your direction flag so once you done it will compare your DL and your AL e after comparing when the both the result are equal now what happened you are the search data have been available so once it is equal to 0 now move the uh, destination value that is from AL to your DI so once you move what you have to do decrement your SI pointer because once uh, whenever doing a load instruction there will be auto increment I told you so your address your pointer will be moved to your next location so decrement that and move the content address of uh, SI to your BX from the BX move your lower order first and then move your higher order to my destination index so this is the program for 8086 to search a given data in an array and also we can able to determine the position and address of the data in an array. Thank you.